We're in the middle of a Zelda renaissance right now, a Zelda-sance, if you will. A live action series might be coming out and they just released an HD version of one of my favorite games of all time. But all this got me thinking, with all of these properties, can we make sense of the Zelda timeline with science? According to this book, the main chronology in The Legend of Zelda is split into three different branches. Here we see that once the world of Zelda is created, it follows a singular path down to Ocarina of Time and then splits off into three. So let's draw this out. So we start at the beginning and then we get down to the events of Ocarina of Time, and then either the hero is defeated, leading to a link to the past, or the hero is successful, which leads to both Majora's Mask and Wind Waker. Is there a real way we can have three separate Zelda universes? I think there is, and the answer comes from quantum mechanics. Over 60 years ago, physicist Hugh Everett proposed, as the correct interpretation of quantum mechanics, that our universe is actually just one of an infinite number of parallel universes. Every bit of matter in the universe is a quantum system with a finite or possibly infinite number of outcomes associated with it. And when two of these systems interact or get observed or measured, these outcomes split off from each other in separate universes. This is the many worlds hypothesis. You just happen to be living along one string of these possible universes in your life. There is a universe in which this video ends but you live in the one where it continues. With the many worlds hypothesis, you could get three branches in the Zeldaverse. Now this is where the little boy from the forest with a fairy comes back in. When Link battles Ganon at the end of Ocarina of Time, the universe splits apart. In one universe, he is defeated, and in the other, he is successful. Then, with some sweet, sweet green meter magic, we are able to observe these separate universes and play them as games. But why are there two branches in Link's successful timeline? Things get even more tricky. According to the Hyrule Historia, again, after Zelda sends Link back in time at the end of the events of Ocarina of Time, the universe splits once more. The only way that Link can continue on to Majora's Mask is to grow up, defeat Ganon, and get sent back in time to warn Zelda. But that can only happen if there's also another timeline where the little Link knows nothing of this plan and goes back through the events of Ocarina of Time and defeats Ganon. Therefore, before the events of Ocarina of Time, there exists a Link that will warn Princess Zelda and a Link who won't. They are separate universes or something. Of course, I think a lot of this comes after the fact. I don't think there was any time travel chronology really sorted out before these games were made. But still, using one of the most influential game series of all time, we can learn a little bit more about what may underlie the fabric of our universe. Why? Because science. <laughs>